Here's five tips for you to get better at FL Studio. So for number one, we got shortcuts. You need to know how to navigate through the application with general ease, you feel me? Think about it like this. The amount of time that you can save with your workflow or how efficient you work, the more time you'll have to allocate to other things that you like to do or for making other ideas. Now, I know there are thousands of shortcuts in FL Studio, but there's only a handful that you're going to be using consistently. So let's cover those real quick. All right, first we got the pencil tool. The shortcut is P. You've use this tool to draw things in click in patterns it's just like your default cursor almost in fl studio this is the tool that you'll be using the most to put things onto the playlist the next shortcut is c this is your cutting tool you're going to use this to cut patterns or cut things on the playlist to a desired length all you do is press c to select the tool and then you left click and drag to cut where you would like to cut there are alternative ways of cutting as well so after you select the cut tool by pressing c you can hold down shift while you left click and it will cut directly in a straight line it will lock it into a straight line while you hold shift and that will allow you to cut in a very very precise manner if you know exactly where you're trying to cut and then there's one more alternative way of cutting you can hold down the alt key or the option key if you're on mac and this is going to allow you to free cut this is nicer for those more fluid cuts where you need to be a bit more lenient on where it's going to be next shortcut we have is the b tool that is your paintbrush tool and you can use that to slap a bunch of instances onto the playlist and then we have t which is the shortcut for muting you press t then you left click on whatever you want to be muted and it will mute whatever you selected. So there we have four shortcuts that you need to know. Let me show you a couple more essential ones. And the cool part about this is you can always come back, learn like four at a time, and then you can come back, learn the next four. Next, we have a combination. It's like the best pizza rolls. Psych, that's the three cheese pizza. Fucking weirdo. I know somebody was like, yes! No, I joy baited you. But next we have a combination of shortcuts. I know it's getting a little bit more complicated, but I promise you I'll limit it. So what you're gonna do for this combination first is you're gonna hold down control. Then you're gonna left click and drag your mouse over what you would like to select. And that's gonna select a whole area. Whatever that box goes over that you just created when you do that combination, it will select everything inside that box or that you go over. Now, let me show you guys the control shortcuts. So we have control A, Control C, Control B, and Control V. I know, let me rewind that. I know it sounds like a lot. Listen, hear me out, hear me out. So in FL Studio, there's going to be some things that you're gonna be doing almost every single project. And this is one of those combinations. So you have Control A. You're gonna hold down Control and then press A. That's going to select everything. It doesn't matter where you're at in FL Studio, it's going to select everything. Control plus A. The A is for all. It will select it all. Now, after you select it all, what you're gonna tend to do is you're gonna wanna copy those things because you're probably gonna paste your idea further on or you're gonna duplicate, whatever. It's gonna be the same thing, however you wanna look at it. So after you did Control A and you selected everything, now you're gonna wanna copy. So you Control plus C, that's gonna copy it simple after that you can paste it by control plus v that will allow you to paste it somewhere but if you want to paste it directly in the next available slot then what you can do is you can do control b as in boy instead and it will paste whatever you have copied over to the next available slot so there i just taught you guys two series of shortcuts if you guys want a video of only fl studio shortcuts that you'll need to know, and then I can go way more in depth with, comment down below and let me know. All right, so now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, tip number two, to get better at FL Studio, you're gonna want to experiment as much as possible. And by that, I mean, you're gonna wanna try a bunch of different genres, try a bunch of different sounds. You're just gonna want to enjoy being in a completely new environment, experiment as much as possible, try to enjoy the process, and just be happy to like dive into the unknown. It's gonna be hard, especially Especially for the people who fucking suck but just enjoy the process enjoy where you're at you will get to where you're trying to go if you truly enjoy it so just make sure you're having fun i know it's not that easy just make sure you're having fun and you'll get to where you're wanting to go so in this experimentation phase what are you going to be wanting to ask yourself you're going to be wanting to ask yourself what sounds do i find myself liking consistently like what 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 kind of sounds do i like do i like soft sounds do i like harder grungier sounds do i like do i like the fart 808 do i like 
spins more? What effects do I tend to like a lot? What instruments am I liking a lot? What genres are my go-to? What do I want to produce? You know what I'm saying? All of that, all of that is what you need to dive into and try. And even if you think you don't like something, I think you should still try it because I think that it can all tie together. You can learn something from other genres. Even if you don't like the genre, you can use technique wise, or maybe you don't like the whole genre, but you like this specific style or like sound that is used in a genre. You can take elements like that and experiment in that way like the possibilities are endless you're just gonna want to experiment you are a sonical scientist experiment away my brother all right tip number three you're gonna want to learn how to mix slash level your tracks if you don't know what that means uh basically it just means how to polish it up how to make sure it doesn't sound like garbage quality wise everything is at a decent volume now i can't cover in this video how to mix and how to level everything and go into the depths of that but if you guys want a video on that let me know i will do a detailed video on that for you guys fully updated of course i had to mention it definitely an important skill and that kind of leads me into tip number four have high quality sound the higher quality sounds you have the less time you'll have to spend on mixing them or making them sound good i will tell you my go-to producers for their kits would have to be cryptic stephen schaefer bwb which i think is big white beats if I'm not mistaken, who else is there? Holysounds.co is another great place where you can find high quality sounds that will not only keep you inspired, but will definitely improve your quality. And this goes for plugins as well. I feel like there are quality levels for both ends and I'll definitely figure out which ones you enjoy the most because there are a lot. Analog Lab 5 is a great one. Omnisphere slash Keyscape is really good. Uh, you could even throw Trillion in there. Cradle the Prince is another good one. Serum is amazing. Can't forget that one. And then there's a bunch of other hidden ones that you should probably go check out and do research for yourself. But those are some to start with, some to look into, and some that are definitely high quality. Oh yeah, let me not forget to mention contact contact is a fire one mad diversity from contact so make sure you check that out so now for the final tip and i would argue the most important tip this is going to be how you progress the fastest how you learn to implement techniques how you find your own sound especially for you beginners this is going to be something that just kind of slingshots your your learning momentum your creativity your skill at producing and all the other macro skills that come with producing you want to imitate you want to imitate your favorite producers find your favorite songs find who produced them look up videos on how to make stuff like them and the better that you get at being able Able to imitate what you hear and you like the faster you will be able to pick up other people's ideas that sound amazing to you and not only will you be able to pick them up but you will be able to implement them into your own style it's how we learn the very first things that we're ever doing in life why would we make this an exception so imitate 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 i cannot stress that enough i don't want to make this video too long though so subscribe if you want to become a more efficient producer make sure you guys join our discord link in the description and there's a limited time sale going on at holysounds.co with a bunch of new sounds a bunch of new kits so make sure you guys go click that link so you can become inspired today and i will catch you guys in the next one